Hey guys, what is up? It is your boy D er, Anok from Anok Gaming, and uh, I think it's time for my Magic the Gathering collection video. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering why I'm out of breath, because I just had to carry like a hundred pounds worth of Magic cards over to my freaking desk. Here, look, I'll show you. Let me close that for a second, just for a quick second. Like, we're talking, like, quite a bit of magic cards. So, yeah. Oh, no, I done messed it up again. Right there, no. No, that doesn't feel right. Hold on, right there. Huh? Stop, don't touch. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, yeah, so I got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 binders to go through. Um, so... Let's hope this can, let's hope this will be a less than 30 minute video. Um, I feel like we should start off with my first binder, ignore the Build-A-Bear thing. Um, okay, so this is my black binder. This is the binder that I messed up on organizing and uh, haven't gone back to fix it. Um, I organized them by mana cost. I don't really want to go through the whole thing, but uh, yeah, these binders are mostly filled with bulk because um, I don't like bulk storage. I don't like what it does to your cards when they sit in there for a long time. I prefer binders because it makes things look pretty and um, they're uh, yeah, they just look better and everything feels organized. This is not how I organized the rest of my binders, but yeah, no, I'm grabbing like five pages at a time so I can get through this a little quicker. Um, so yeah. So yeah, these are all my, uh, my cards. This is like a heavy binder though. This feels like 20 pounds. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I measured these, or I think I weighed these at one point, and they're like each like 10, 15 pounds. But like, that is a thick boy. Um, so yeah, that is my, uh, my swamp, or my black binder. Uh, next up, we got one of my newer binders stuff. This is from M20, and I believe that is, what is that? That's not, is this one what I think it is? Oh yeah, this is the, uh, the War of the Spark. So this is, I started, like, sorting all of the more recent sets into their own binders and stuff. So... This is M20 and War of the Spark. So, start with our artifacts. Then we go to blue. Then we go to red, the green, the white, the black. Then we go to our multicolored. Then we go to lands. Then we go to tokens. Then we go to red from. What is this? War of the. No, this is still M20. Never mind. We go to more of the stuff. Um, I always sort it by, like, decks first, so if there's still M20 stuff, that's other stuff. Oh, no, here's the stuff from more of the Spark. Um, I got me, uh, fun story, uh, I actually got him, uh, what's his name? Oko? Yeah, Oko, Thief of Crowns. Um, I got him literally, like, 
a few days after he was banned. And, um, I pulled him in a pack, and I was kind of sad. Um, but yeah, these are like my pre-release decks, and then we get into actual cards. Stuff, that's still the deck. And that's still decks, because I usually go to the two, two pre-release events, sometimes three. Uh, this is more stuff and more of the spark. Uh, so yeah. It's been a while since I've played Paper Magic, um, because I missed the Theros release by, like, a week, because I thought it was the week before, because everywhere I'd read, and it said the week before, but then they pushed it to... Or, I mean, I thought it was the week after, but they had put or they had moved it back to the week before it was supposed to be, I think. Or I just read the dates wrong, and I wasn't able to go to that. And then I think I went to the one after that. Let's see, what was after Theros? Um, I don't really remember. Uh, what was after Theros? Come on, Dylan. Get your noggin working. What was after Theros, Dylan? Uh, I think we gotta Google it. Wait, let's go. MTG sets. Set archives. Here, let me. We go to YouTube look and we pull up this. Okay. Um, okay, so here we go. I went to that one. Um, I went to that one. Went to that one. And I missed this one. Uh, yeah, Throne of Eldrain, I missed. Then, uh, how do I change the year on that one? Uh, products. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so this one is Throne of Eldrain, and then I missed Theros. Um, because of COVID, and then, or because of, uh, you know, the old CV-19, and, um, then Ikora, um, I missed Ikora as well because of CV, and, uh, now they're moving on to Core 21, and I was really looking forward to Ikora, in fact, I was like, why are they moving on to Corset or M21 so fast because I was really looking forward to this one and I really want to get into it and play it but I haven't been able to like I played a tiny bit on MTG Arena but I just don't have time um, and I want to play Paper Magic again but standard has changed so much since I've actually played the game like I legit don't think I have any cards from Throne or from Ikora here look I don't have any of Throne, Ikora, or 20, 21. Nor do I have any from Throne, Veldrain. So yeah, I don't have any from Theros, Ikora, and then Core 20, 21 is coming up. And I don't have any from Throne of Veldrain. So, I legitimately don't have... Let me change that back. Uh, have any of those. So... Yeah, I've, yeah. CV19 has kind of thrown everything for a loop. I believe this one was Ravnica. I believe this whole thing is Ravnica. Yeah. Ugh. Built a red black jump start, and then I made a surveil, or a Sultai surveil. And it goes red, white. Well, these aren't even connected to the thing anymore. Whatever, I'll fix that later. Blue. The multi colors. Green. Ugh. Uh, crap. 
those are also off. Black uh, lands and stuff. Tokens. Yeah, so this was all from the Ravnica. I believe I played three events on this one. Because it was a really fun set. I really gotta get back into Magic again. Uh, I love Magic the Gathering. It's just so effing expensive, but also, uh, I mean, there are cheap ways of playing it, but also, CV19 kind of threw everything off. Um, let's see, what's next? What's this one? This one. What set is this? Is this War of the Spark? Uh, I don't think so. This is a set that exists. <laughs> no, I think this is the other Ravnica. I don't think, I don't remember. This is either War of the Spark or this is more Ravnica. I don't remember the set name. Um, Crap, this has already been an 11 minute video. Y'all are still watching. Thanks a lot. It means a lot. It does. Now it sounds like I'm just trying to rush this. And I'm just like, yo, thank you and whatnot. But like, seriously though. Still not getting very many views on my videos. I'm lucky if I get one or two. Actually, I think my second most video or viewed video on my channel was a Magic the Gathering one, and, it, uh, and the average view time was like 30 seconds <laughs> on a like 15 minute video, so, yippee. Anyway, this next one, I believe, is just artifacts, yep, so, start with the, uh, the vehicles, move on to like other artifacts. I'm going like two or three pages at a time because it's faster that way. Um, so yeah. So yeah, lose all that. That's pretty cool. What's next? I believe these are my multicolored cards. Yeah, my gold border or multicolor. Uh, I got some pretty cool ones in here, but mostly just gonna be skipping through. A lot of these I've made commander decks from. Like if they're a legendary creature, I made commander decks from, and then most of my commander decks never like last. I have. Two that have lasted, and one of them's not even good. And the other one's not good if people know what I'm trying to do and they could just easily stop it. So, I mean, yeah. And here are some lands. My, do my duo lands. Uh, yeah. More lands. And more lands. Ugh. Still have a few more. Let me uh try to get these back in there. Aha, it worked. Look at me. I I a genius. Okay, next up we have our red. Or I mean our white, sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm white headed. Whew. Okay, we have our white. I don't often build white decks. Um, I don't know why. I have a couple. Um, a couple of them. But yeah. So, I don't often build white decks. But, I mean, they're fun. I'm just not good at them. I'm, like, good at building them. If I can get a list, then, then I'm fine. The only successful one that I built was Mono White Humans. Uh, like, White Weenie. And, uh, yeah, I still play with that one. I came, like, like this close to, uh, getting rid of that one, but it stuck through. And it powered on. I'm going to tell you what. 
That thing was on the edge of its life for a while. Like, if I stop seeing results with from a deck, um, I usually will uh, stop playing with it, but I'll still keep it around for a little bit until I realize, oh, I've, I haven't played with this deck in, like, three months. I should probably get rid of it. But humans kept around for a while. Anyway, mono red. Or just, like, my shirt, red deck. Or red things. I love red. Red's my, uh, red's my boy. I love red decks. Um, my favorite deck that I've ever built is uh, my goblin deck. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I'll burn and then like some Krenko's Commands and uh, like a uh, gutter snipe. Wait, why do I have a gutter snipe in here? I thought all my gutter snipes were in my burn deck. Eh, whatever. I guess I took that deck apart or something. Anywho, um,. Yeah, I bet you're thinking like a traditional goblin deck. And I mean, technically, yes. Does it have all the burn that it should? And do I replace that burn with things that probably shouldn't be in there? Yes. But do I have fun playing it? The answer is also yes. Your boy loves goblins. I even tried goblins and commander. Let me tell you. Mono red goblins and commander does not work. I know I've seen some people pull it off, but for the majority... They don't work. Well, let me show you a goblin that was in, like, all of my goblin... Or that was in, like, my goblin deck for the longest time. And then I was like, yeah, it's time to replace this. But it's actually getting reprinted in this next M20... Or M2021. And it's, uh, this boy. And it's when he dies, he does one damage to any target. He was in there for a long time. Maybe now that it's being reprinted, I can build a standard goblins deck. Because... Uh, corsets tend to have a lot of goblins. Okay, so this one I have to be very careful with. This is my blue deck, or my blue binder, but my blue binder is a little busted, so you gotta be very careful when you flip through it. So, yeah. Just be very careful. You don't want to move too many cards at once. Like, my blue deck, or my blue binder is so hard to, like, use that instead of putting all the newer decks that I use, like I used to do in the back, like I do for all the other colors, I have to put them in the front because I don't want them to get, like, jacked up. What I should do is just buy a new binder. They're kind of cheap, but whatever. We'll just deal with it. So, yeah, that's my blues. I have a couple more pages, but yeah. Now, I'll talk to you for a second while I put these back, because I don't want to uh, jack it up again. It takes forever to fix if it gets jacked up. Um, so, yeah, I do like blue. Uh, I more recently have picked up playing a little bit more controly decks. Um, but I still don't like playing mono blue control. I like it to be like blue black or soul tie. Um, because full-on mono blue control, I mean, I, I've played fun blue mono control, or I mean mono blue control decks, but I'm not good at building them, especially when I don't have that many, like, counter spells and uh, just say no cards. So, yeah, more for the blue, black, and soul tie and stuff. But anyway, this next is green. Uh... So yeah, um, I started playing Magic the Gathering in my first cards, um, I believe, were from Shadows Over Innistrad. I believe, or maybe my aunt got me uh, cards from the core set before that. I don't remember. I think my first cards were from Shadows Over Innistrad, which, by the way, was a really good freaking set. Um, but yeah, a lot of players my age started playing at Shadows over Innistrad, or they, well, they started playing earlier, but they didn't get into the competitive scene until Shadows. Um, oh yeah, that's right, so I had had my cards for like a year, 
or since the Christmas before Shadows over Innistrad came out. And as soon as it came out, I was like, or I had just, or I just barely started playing, right? Like a little bit after the set came out, like a couple weeks after the set came out, I started actually getting into it. Because I'd had the cards since the Christmas before. But my cousin, one didn't teach me how to play, and he was the only one I knew who played it. And I didn't learn how until junior high. And even the, um, even then, we were playing, like, a broken version of it. Like, not how it's actually supposed to be played. And so, yeah. Um, okay. So, people are probably wondering, Dylan, you know how, with your Pokemon, you stored all your energy cards in the one binder? Uh, where are you storing all of your, uh, your mana? And, like, tokens and sleeves. Well, in these things. You know when you buy the $40 build-your-own-deck kind of a kits? Yeah, these. Um, I have so many lands and sleeves that it fills up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 11. 11 of these. Um, obviously, I have, like, a lot... <laughs> Um, let's see. I believe this top one is... I believe this one's tokens. Yeah, it is. So... Yeah, hurry and shove those in there. This whole thing is filled to the brim with tokens. Um, and then my lands are all up in these. Uh, this is black, this is blue. But then, uh, this one... Is, like, sleeves. I believe this one... Yeah, this one's my garbage Ultra Pro sleeves. And then my other one holds all my nice, uh, Eclipse Ultra Pro... Ultra Pro Eclipse sleeves. Uh, it's that. Ooh, oh, you guys can't see it. Um, it's a little white one that's got uh, Avacyn on it. Uh, this has got some cards. It looks like it's got some Pokemon in here. Interesting. Um, just random garbage cards, I guess, I've collected. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I got all my lands in these. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, my. Here, wait, actually, let me count those. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have ten. So I have five that are for all my lands. I have one that's for tokens. And then I have four, or I have two that's for sleeves. And I have two more that are just random cards and junk. Or maybe three that, no, I have three for sleeves and one that's for random cards and junk. Uh, this one isn't my nice, nice sleeves, but this one's like all my art, or all the sleeves with like designs. And I got a couple of the garbage Ultra Pros in here. And a couple of clears. Not perfect fits, I think perfect fits are in this one. Let's see, yeah. Got my perfect fits in here. Got more Eclipse sleeves in here. Yeah, all my Eclipse sleeves are in here and my perfect fits are in here. So yeah, that's what I got in this one. That's where I store all my sleeves and lands are in these. Now you're wondering, Dylan, you showed us all of your bulk and garbage that you never play with. Uh, where's your, uh, where are your trades? Well, that, my young man, or gal, or whatever you identify as, are in these trade binders. Now, this one, I want to fill with only Nicobolos related stuff. Um... I have a ton of Nicobolas related stuff, but all of that is in my no my Nicobolas um, uh, Oathbreaker deck, so they're not in here. I do have one Nicobolas Planeswalker. It is God Pharaoh, um, the best Nicobolas Planeswalker in my opinion. Um, let's see. And then if you open up my next trade binder, which is like legitimately full, um, you see that I have a really old list of cards for decks that I wanted to build. Let's see, who do we got on here? We got stuff like Hydra Broodmaster, because I want to build a Hydra deck. We had uh, Mangor Managorger Hydra, uh, Genesis Hydra. We had that stuff. Then we had more uh, Rishkar, uh, Pima Renegade, and stuff like that. And then we had Noble Hierarch, uh, Hierarch, you know what I mean, Hierarch, and then we have Death's Presence, we got, like, this is like, full pages, a lot of these cards aren't even good, and I have a lot of these cards, and I just didn't know it, 
And then a lot of these cards, you know, the cards that I didn't have were all the expensive ones, and I was like, what the heck? And it was driving me nuts. So, yeah. Uh, we start off with, uh, whoops, with blue. And we, like, trade off to green. I know a lot of these aren't very good. I need to go through this again at some point and determine what I'm taking out. But, yeah, I haven't decided yet since a lot of these aren't very good. Uh, you know, this would be a, where is it? This would be a really good enchantment if uh, it costs less, like four instead of five. It's Grave Patrol, so whenever one of your opponent's creatures dies, uh, it goes onto your battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter. On my nice lands, here's some artifacts. Multicolored, multicolored, more multicolored, my white. And here comes my fun stuff after this next white page. Whoops. My planeswalkers. I have a lot of planeswalkers. And then like planeswalker shirt search stuff from like the planeswalker decks and like we got tokens and emblems in there. Alright. Now you're wondering, Dylan. I'm just kidding, you're probably not wondering this. But we're going to say you are. Dylan, you claim to have gone to a bunch of pre-releases and everything. But I didn't see a single one of your pre-release cards. Well, that's because they're in this little booklet. And yes, it is a Pokemon booklet. They come in handy though. So, my very first pre-release ever was not actually this Angel of Deliverance that I got in, uh, from uh, April 8th of 2016. I don't know how I got this. I just randomly found it in my collection, and I don't remember going to that pre-release. Like, I legitimately do not. My legitimate very first pre-release was in September of 2008, or 2016. It was the Kaladesh pre-release, and I have a Aether Squall Ancient is my one from that. And then the 22nd through the 23rd of April 2017, I had Prepare to Fight. Um, which is this double card here. And then the 28th of April, 2017, which is weird because I don't remember an immediate or another event that soon, but whatever. I got um, Oracle's Vault, which I've never actually seen be played in a deck. It's this uh, artifact board right here. And then we have uh, Kefnet's Last Words from... The 8th through the 9th of July 2017. It's this blue one right here. I did see this get played a little bit, but not too much. Uh, then we have Swords Point Diplomacy from the two th or from 2017 in September, the 23rd through the 24th. It's this black one right here. Then we have my favorite freaking pre-release card that I've ever gotten. Uh, it is from... The 23rd through the 24th of September, the 2020 or er, 2017. Uh, it is our boy Regisar Alpha. Then we have uh, Adana's Climb, which is which was a very popular card before it rotated out, from the 13th through the 14th of January 2018. It's this one right here. It's uh, one of those flip enchantments that flips into a land. You got the. Uh, Precognition field uh, from 21 or through the 21st and 22nd of April of 2018. A few of these I legit never played with. A few of them I have, like that Hadana's Climb. Anyway, then we have Dread Shade uh, from the tw the 21st to the 22nd of April 2018, and then the next one is Urgenus or er er Ergeros the Empty One from that same time period. They're both black uh, cards. The next we have from that same time period as well, um, Ed Edelis, the Cinderwind, and then we also have Death Baron from July of that same year, the 7th through the 8th of the 2018. 
And then uh, we also, from the July 7th through the 8th, we have Goreclaw, the terror, terror of Kal uh, Sisma. Uh, that's the green bear dude. He's pretty cool. Um, I tried to make him into a commander. Didn't really work. Then we have a quasi-duplicate uh, from the 29th through the 30th of September 2018. This is a blue one. Very popular. Uh, I think it just rotated out not too long ago. Then, then we have Risk Factor, also from the 20th through the 30th of September. <sighs> Same time frame. And then we have Gutter Bonds from the 19th through the 20th of the January 2019. Uh, we also have from the time period of the 27th through the 28th of April 2019, we have th uh, four cards. We have Jaya, uh, Venerated Fire Mage. We have Angraf, Captain of Chaos. We have Tomic, Distinguished Advocate. And then we have Ilharg, the Raised Boar. That's these two Planeswalkers. And these two boys. I went to four events that time. I drank so much Monster. Then we have the Steel Overseer from the 6th through the 7th of July 2019. And then we have Nadir Kraken from the 18th through the 19th of January 2020. So I guess I did go to that one. I don't remember which pre-release that was. Um, I don't remember. Then from that same event... Oh, I believe this was the... This wasn't Throne, was it? During the Veldrain? No, that wasn't, because I don't... No, because isn't that when Oko came out? I guess I did go to Throne uh, pre-release. Uh, maybe not? I don't know. Anyway, we have... Um, sorry, this video is like literally already 32 minutes. Nadir Kraken from the 18th and the 19th of January 2020, and also we have Temple of Plenty from that same time period. So the, there's Nadir Kraken, and then there's the Temple of Plenty. And that, I haven't been to a pre-release since January. That's like five months. I've already, I think, missed two two of them. We have another one coming up, so. I know. <laughs> uh, I might have gone to Throne of Eldraine. I don't remember. It's been too long. The CV-19 has really thrown me mentally for a loop. <sighs> what memories? So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I might do a couple more collections videos. I don't know how many other collections I have. Uh, I've kind of lost track and uh, probably lost some over the years, so I'll have to go through them. Uh, maybe someday I'll do my pin collection, if we can ever fill that pin board up. We're not even halfway yet, but who knows. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Anok from Anok Gaming. <laughs> uh, leave a like, share the video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, check out the merch, and uh, I think that's all of the YouTube stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Anok from Anok Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!